So whenever you make, whenever I make website, initially I did this in my career in 2002, I started using this method and I was doing this method. And when I go in the different projects, all the projects look similar. All the projects have the same idea concept wise. Every project is similar. So you will not lose anything if you are doing it in this format in the PHP. Tomorrow you go in Python, the concept will be same. Tomorrow you go in Google, you go in the Facebook. Let's build a Facebook website. Every website will be like in this format, whatever we are doing. So don't worry that you are doing in PHP and if you really work in React, it will be useful for you in the React also. So today we will do our team part. So before we do our team part, let's make the admin for the team part. So I will go in the admin and I will say site.php. Here yesterday we built the information and I told you that I need to build the custom thing for the for our uh, team uh, team data. So let's do build that one. It will be like this one. I told you that add more images kind of thing, but we will take the data for the, uh, we will take the data for the, whatever the team are there, whatever the developers are there. So let's do that one. So I will go here in the, this is the page called as views new. Let's go to views new because I will be taking some JavaScript from this file. So I'm just keeping this open so that I can grab the grab something function like this. So if you remember, we have this, let's say if I want to add the video, there is some div of each videos and I put some information here and there is some hidden div that is ID video two, and this is hidden. And whenever someone clicks add more, I copy this HTML tag and put it inside this tag inside the div ID videos. So it will go, go on appending as much as we want. So similar thing which we will do in this uh, in the developer kind of thing. So let's open the site dot PHP. In the site dot PHP. In the site.php, I will go to the last one. Let's put it here. I will put M. Let's put multiple M because we will be taking information of the developer. Uh, maybe I need only one one level because I don't want to loop through the TDTR. I will just put your developers. Okay, I'm putting the developer's name here. And here I will say, first I will say uh, what information we have to take of the developers. Let's open the live reminder and we'll see. First information, I need the image. I need the image. So I will put here image. And the image of developer or image. Since developers is here already, so I don't need to say I get developers image. So I will say image only and I'll put the text box. I will name it this as a developers underscore image. I can put any name and I will start with the rectangular star open rectangular close. So in that way, in that way, I will be having, uh, I will be having the array of this developers image. So First developer will come, it will be having the zero value. Second developer I will put, it will be having one value. Third developer I will put, it will be having two value. So the developer, so what things we need? For the developers, we need first as an image, and I will name it as developer underscore image, rectangular bracket open, rectangular bracket close. So what is this rectangular bracket open and close means? Rectangular bracket open and close means that it should go as a developer image. If I put first one, it will go as a zero. If I add another developer, it will go as a one. If I put another developer, it will go as a two. 
So I can grab all the developers using this value 0, 1, 2. I can grab all the developers value. Second thing which we need is name and designation. So I will need second thing as name. I will name it as developer underscore name. Same way it will be having 0, 1, 2 value. Third thing which I need is designation. This is a designation. I will say developer underscore designation. And then fourth thing I will say, this is the description. I need the description. I will need developer underscore description. After description, I need Facebook URL, LinkedIn URL, Twitter URL, and Google Plus URL. So I will take fifth one as FB URL. It will be developer underscore FB. Sixth will be Twitter. So it will be developer underscore TW. Seventh will be LinkedIn will be developer underscore LN. Next will be Google Plus. Eight fields I will take for each developer. E plus Google Plus. Let's say developer underscore Google Plus. So I need to put all these fields in this one. So one is the image. I will put two here only in first line. Second is the name. So I will say name, add the text box, and here I will name it as developer underscore name, open bracket, rectangular, close rectangular bracket. Next will be designation. So I will put here designation. Designation. Next is the description. So I will enter it and I will say description. And description will be let's say text area. So I will create a text area. Maybe I will increase the character width to, for example, 55 and number of lines to four maybe. And I'll change the name to description, whatever I put it here. Then there'll be Facebook URL. Maybe I can take before description, I can take every URL. And I'll put the text box. And I'll put a developer underscore FB with rectangular bracket. Rectangular bracket needed because we need multiple developers. Then we'll be to Twitter. URL and I'll put text box and this is the Twitter URL and there will be now LinkedIn and I'll put the text area for LinkedIn and I'll rename this one to LinkedIn and what is we need Google Plus right Let's take the Google Plus also. And I will put as a Google Plus. If tomorrow, if we need more URLs and or more detail for each developer, we can add the fields later on whenever we need it. So this is Google Plus. So all the information is added. Now I will create one button. And this button will be add more developers it will say add more developers maybe i can put this button in the next line so that i can go on adding the developers here here i will say developers information and i will Okay, so this is add more developers. I will create one button. Okay, so this 
this is okay let's make it bold now i will once i click add more developers all this information will be added again so that i can add all the information for the developer too and if i add more i can add n number of developers here so if similarly we created one function here and we created a one hidden id and we, where we put all the same content which were here so here we have this content same content we put it in the hidden div tag similarly we'll do here this this we will put in one div tag so let's copy it and put it in one div tag so i will create one div tag div id equal to maybe i can say day day one but day one will be where we have the original data this is the data which user will be able to see and i will create another div tag and that div tag i will create here in the add more developer section that means if i go in the design view i will put this another div here which will be hidden user will not be able to see it, it will be only visible in the code view so here i will put i will create another div tag with id of div2 and this the this i develop this div tag will be hidden so i will say style equal to display none and i will copy this whole information and i will put it here so whenever someone will click this add more developers i will grab this whole html content and i will put this html content inside inside the above div tag after this current ending of the current p tag so i will add it here so let's do that so the another one is hidden so you're not able to see here so now as we created this script one we will create same script there so after this div tag i will create an this script tag and here i will say add more developers and in the more developers i will put dev1 that means in the dev1 i have to append the contents of dev2 so it will grab the contents of dev2 that means this one and it will append to the contents of dev1 so whatever dev1 is there after that it will append it after day one so whatever content we have it will be duplicated so if they click another third time it will duplicate again so n number of time it will be able to add it now this function i have to call on the add more videos we have that function similarly in our case it will be add more developers so whenever i have this add more developers button type will be button don't make it submit type if you make submit type the form will be submitted if it is a button type it will be depending on this on click functionality it will not submit the form so in the on click i will call the function add more developers and we will paste the page so this is my side information so this is the developer information so for example if i am putting this url copy image address i am putting this image i am putting the name i am putting the designation i am putting the fb url i am putting the linkedin url in the linkedin one i will take the twitter url in the twitter one i will take the google url in the google one and i'll take the description in the description so once i click update record this should go into the database i haven't written that code yet i'm just putting this information now if i add more developers you will see another section is created for another developer so let's add this one copy image address let's put all the developers information let's copy the name Let's copy the designation. Let's copy the FB URL. 
let's copy the LinkedIn one and let's copy the Twitter one. Let's copy the Google one. And in the description, we will put all this information. Okay, and I can add more developers also. But right now I will put only two developers and then I will submit it. Now I put all this information in the developer one and the developer two. But I want to save all this information in which field? What is the name of the field? The name of the field is our team. So I want to put all the information which I took here in this only one field. So what I will do, I will take this field and convert it into the JSON format and I will save it in this field. So to do that, when I click the submit button, that is update record button, I need to take all this information and convert it into a JSON. So my next task will be, so now next task, after I take all the information of the developers, next task will be, to gather all the data of developer and convert into JSON. So next task will be to convert into the JSON. Once it is converted to JSON, I will put it in the database. So first step is we have to just convert into the JSON. So before converting into the JSON, I will see how the this data looks when I click the submit button. That means when I click this update record button, how the data looks, how it comes in the backend. So to see that information, I will go up and I will copy this if condition and I will paste this if condition. And this if condition means the form is submitted. So whenever the form is submitted, we will go into this if condition or this if condition. We will both go into both the if condition. But here only I will say, I will print our whatever is coming all the data will come in the backend as a dollar underscore post. I will say printer dollar underscore post and I will say exit. I will not insert into the database. I will not update the database. First, I want to see how the information is coming when I put this information. So I will click update record. Once I click update record, you will see the developer's information is coming in this format. Developer's image. First developer is coming as a zeroth level in, in the image. Second developer's information is coming in the one level. Then there is the developer name. First information, first developer's name is in the zeroth level. Second developer's name is in the first level. Then it will be designation, first developer, second developer. FB URL, first developer, second developer. Twitter, first developer, second developer. LinkedIn, first developer, second developer. Google Plus, first developer, second developer. Description, first developer, second developer. So all the data is coming in the format of first developer and second developer. So we will try to now loop through all the developers and try to create a one array. Right now, it is coming in different array. One, two, three, four, five. So let's loop through the array and try to gather the information in one data, in one array. So let's do that. So I will consider this developer name is required because this is the one which is the base. I will not consider other things as important, but developer name should be the important. So I will loop through the developer name. So how to loop in the developer name? Just look here. It may be difficult for you at the first time because you are doing this first time. Later on, it will be easy. When we do this second time, third time, fourth time, it will be easy. Now, first I will check if not empty, that there should be some value in that one. In which one? In the post. And inside the post, I will check this variable, developer name. If the something is present in the developer name, then I will loop through all the developer name. So I will say for each, developer name as dollar k dollar v i'm looping through all the developers name first i check if developer name is there in the post value and if it is there i will loop through the developer name and now here i will say printer dollar v v means what is coming inside in the name i will check it so 
let's refresh it. Okay, there's some error in the line number 38. I need to close it two times. Since I open one bracket, two bracket, I will close it one bracket, two bracket. So here is something I'm getting first name and this one. So once this printer dollar underscore post is all this data, which you are able to see at the above, above the screen. And this is the at the bottom of the screen. We are I'm printing the name. What is the what I'm printing? Developer's name. So first time it is printing this name, second time it is printing this name. So let's create one variable. And that variable will be, for example, uh, dollar developers is equal to array. I will create one variable in the array format. And what I will do, I will say developer dollar developers. And here I will put dollar k. K means zeroth level, one level, two level, three level. As many as developers we have, we will be putting k with zero, one, two different level. I know it is a little difficult. Just try to see. Don't try to remember. Just try to understand what I am saying. And if you do three, four times, it will be easy for you. So k will be zero number and we will be this value so when i'm saying developer name loop through the developer name k will be zero level and we will be the name what is the name of the developer this is the name of the developer so if i say developers zero level in the zero level if i put name is equal to dollar v so that means it will take the zero level and in the zero level it will put the name with the value and second time it will come as a one level and it will put the name and it will put the value of the first developer so if i want to print out the developers what are the developers coming i will see it here in this format so in the developers i am getting at the zeroth level i am getting name of myself at the one level i am getting the name of kerry Parik. And in the two and third, I'm getting empty because you will see two and three are empty. So if I don't want to take empty things, I can say like this, if empty dollar V, that means if I don't get the name, then I will not go below it. I will not go further to save it in the developer name. I will say continue. Continue means don't go below just loop it again with the new value so if i refresh it now so you will see now only the two names because other two were empty and because of this condition it will not go if the value is empty if i don't have name i will not go further i will go again in the for each loop to get another value so all the empty value will go away if i put this statement if empty dollar b Continue. Continue means don't go further. Just loop it again. Second time also, if it get, does not give value, it will continue. That means it will not go further and it will continue. But if it gets the name, it will not continue. It will go and save it the name in the developers section in the developers array. So finally, I am getting the developers value as zeroth level. I have name and one. Now, if I want to put developers image. Here only in the zeroth level, I have already name. I want another variable called as image with the value of this one. This one, this value I want to put. So how to do that? So if I want to put the value of the image, I will say dollar developers dollar k. This will be same. Only I will add the image here. But the value, how to get the value? How to get the value of this zeroth level? To get the value of zeroth level, I will say dollar underscore post. What is the variable name? Developers image. So I'll put the variable name. And I will say which level it is? Zeroth level. And here zero level is what? K. So I'll say K. So it is for taking the image, it is going to the developers image variable, which is this one. Developers image variable. And it is going to the zeroth level, and zeroth level is this one, and I get the name of this one. So when it runs second time, 
it will go to the developer's image that is it will go to developer's image and with the dollar k dollar k will become one second time so it will take one value that will it will save this for the carry now if i refresh the page i will show you how it looks so now you will see name has come and image has come for me image is coming this format for carry image is coming in this format now i will ask you uh, i will ask any one of you answer me how will i get this designation so what will i put here so just any one of you just tell me what should i put here to get the designation anyone can try so to get the designation i will create one the same variable developers this is my custom variable i will put k and here i will say designation and in the designation i will copy the same thing but instead of developers image i will take the developers designation same thing if i want to take the fp i will go on copying this line every time for the fb i will take here i will put fb here and here i will say fb for twitter i will say twitter here tw maybe it's a little difficult for you but uh, once you will try to understand what i am doing it will be easy for you in the future just grab it and it's a google plus in one more variable i will add description and this will be description now if i refresh the page you will see i got another array with the zeroth value of all the first details of the first developer and at the one level it gets the detail of the second developer and now this is in the array format and i will convert this array format into the json format so let me remove this printer and here i will convert into the json format so i will say json developer is equal to so to convert array into json format we use one default php command that is called json encode and then i will pass the variable name which variable name i want to convert developers now if i want to see what is in the json developer i will say echo json developer so this is the array format and now we will see the json format also for the developer we will see both the information so if i refresh it now so if you see in the top section everything is in the array format but in the bottom format i converted everything in the json format this is the format which we will save in the database array format cannot be saved in the database so we are saving this format in the database so let's save this in the database so what is the variable name which goes in the database for the developer which variable it goes into the developer from here what is the variable name which goes as a team our team in which variable i'm saving it let's open the database so this is my database field what is the field name where i want to save all the uh, information of this uh, developers site our team site our team so you should uh, speak uh, early now i have to specify where i i want to take it so try to figure out yourself where is that one so this is the variable dollar underscore post site our team i want to save all the information in the site our team so i will after json developer i will say dollar post site our team is equal to this json developer why i am taking the string in the why i am taking the string here because array cannot be saved in the database we need to convert it into the string so we are converting into the string and saving it in the database in the string format now if i refresh the page okay something happened let's see what's happened so
let's see what happened okay at least it went to the database which we can see here we if we go here in the database it is it will be in the site uh, team so this is my site team i can see whole json data is here right so information went to the database but now it is not displaying there because of some reasons because of some blah 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 reasons it is in the database though so why it is not displaying it the reason may be one whenever we have such a large data or description part then we if you see this this information is coming here in this our site our team in the hidden value site our team so if i delete this part let me delete this part and i will go here You are not able to hear me. Hello. We cut out for a minute. A little bit, okay. So, so this information, we since this is a very big data and it is in the JSON format, so sometimes it breaks. It does not go on the page as it is. So, see if you see, it is breaking here. It is not going correctly in the database. So, to fix that, we need to put one. Uh, we need to put one uh, extension, PHP extension that is called HTML special cars. So if I put this variable inside that, then it should work. So if you see now, If you see the data is coming here, all the data is here. So whenever you have the complex uh, word or HTML or very large data, whenever you are putting on the screen, you should use HTML special cards whenever you are putting in the form variable. I, I will explain it again. Maybe this is a little difficult to understand. So if I refresh it. It's there. It's there in the hidden one, but it's not displayed here. This is little difficult part. I will I will tell you again what I'm doing it. I created the all the field with these names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you have to answer me to understand it clearly. You have to answer me. If I put the information of the first developer, how the variable will be saved? in the backend what will be the variable name for the image whether it will be like this or it will be like this when i put image for the first developer it will go in the database in the backend it will post in the backend like this format or this format though in the html i have put like this but when it goes to the backend it will go like this or it will go like this Think with the zero with the yeah. zero with the zero so let's say if i put another name also for the first developer so it will go like this or it will go like zero zero yeah. zero always though we are writing in html like this it goes here as a zero and if i'm adding more developer so whether it the second developer will go like this or it will go like this they will go with the one one so as many as we get this variable it will convert into zero one two three four in the back end so if i'm putting the name also for the second developer it will go here in the back end as one now i have two developers and i have two variables 
consider two only don't consider further so i have the first variable with zero value and then same variable with the one value then again i have first second variable with a zero value second variable with a one value so for example if the image is kate's image for example here is an here is the image is many's image for example here the name is kate's name here the name is many's name so we have information of kate in the image we have information of many in the image we have information of kate as the name field we have information of many in the name field now either i can loop this to or i can loop this to it's up to me but since the name will be compulsory image may not be the compulsory so i will loop through all the developer name so let's say i am looping through developer name for put i will put something blah 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 so if i looping through the developer name in the zeroth case i will get kate in the one case i will get many what i am doing i am going through the name so first time it's a zero value so i am getting kate second time it's a one value i am getting many since i am getting zero as a kate and zero one at the many now i know to access the image of the kate i can use the developer's image with passing of zero i will get the kate's image if i pass in the developer image with the value of one i will get many's image so that means even i don't write this part if i want to get the kate's image what i will do i will say developer image of zero if i want to get the many's image what i will do i will say developer's image of 1 will give me the many's image but here i am looping the name but if i want the image of the kate what i will do i will say developer image of 0 for the kate if i want to get the many's image what i will do i will say developer image of 1 so at the zeroth level i can get all the information of the kate at the one level i will get all the information of the many so for example if i am adding one more field called as developer designation so developer designation of zero will be for the kate designation and for the one level it will be many designation now if i want to access the designation i know since i am develop uh, looping through the developer name i know zero level and one level and from zero level i am fetching the image and from one level i am fetching the image of the many so if i want to fetch the designation i will just say designation of zero for the kate and i will say designation of one for many so like this only i am looping developer name but because of this key 0 and 1 i can access all the information of the kate with the zero level and i can get all the information of many with the one level is that clear yes since i can get all the information of many and all the information of the kate i created a new variable and that new variable was the developers i just created a new variable here i created a variable called a developers and this variable and this variable i put all the information i am looping through the developer name i know k dollar k is 0 1 2 3 for each developer and because of this k i can access the image of the first developer at the zeroth level i can access designation of the zeroth level i can access fb of zeroth level i can access twitter of the zeroth level and then i loop it to the second time to get the one for the first developer one for the designation one for the fb one for the twitter one for the linkedin one for the gp one for the description and ultimately i get the array of all the developers and all the information will be saved in the developers and if i go to the database you will see information is like this with the name 
the first one it goes is the name manish image it goes the image then it goes to the designation so first all the information of first user is there fb i get all the information of the first user then after it is done it creates the all the information of the second user that is the carry parik so i am getting all the information of the carry so first developer will go as a whatever i put first developer second developer will go as a whatever i put second developer now when i load the page you are not able to see since it is saved in the database but you are not able to because it is in the hidden field now if i open the hidden field you will see that hidden field is site our team and all the information is in this hidden field but admin has to know all this detail because this detail is hidden field and admin cannot see the detail hidden things so we should also display the information here in the developer section so we should be able to display all the information in the developer section whatever we put previously so previously we put two developers so i should be able to see two developers here so that part i will do tomorrow let's go to the our team and try to display the both the developers here so let's go and display the developers here now let's open our site information page where i get the developer information and here i will try to go to the bindings panel and i will go to the our team this is our team i will put it here i will copy this and i will go to the our team page and in the team page i will right now i will just do echo let's see what is coming in the our team so once i do echo all information is coming in the json format but json format i cannot really use in the php in javascript we can use the json format but in php i cannot use the json format directly i need to convert it into the array so how to convert it into the array so i will this is my information of our team so what i will do to convert it into the array i will say dollar team is equal to since while putting into the database we use the word json encode now while retrieving we need to convert from the string to array so to do that i will use json decode and i will put the variable name site our team comma i will pass second value as a true just pass true don't worry about it what exactly it means now if i do the printer of the team i'll show you i will do echo pr pre this i write down before even showing the array before showing array i always put this statement just for the formatting purpose now if i do the printer of a team you will see the team has come in the form of array which i can easily use it so the first information i'm getting of first developer second information i'm getting of the second developer now what i will do i will build the team page and i will loop through this array to show first user with this information second user with this information so let's go and let's build the team page okay so let me build the team page so let's go to here so everything is in the team now all the information of the team uh, in, in all the information of the de developers is in the variable called as team and here we will build some html for the team so to build the html for the team i will go inside the okay it's saying container here so let's go inside the container and i will create a div class of row and inside row i will create div class of col md so each developer will get the section of 44 so i will say 
and each developer will be looping so first developer all information will go inside this second developer all the information will go inside this third info third developer all the information will go this so that means this part is repeating since this part is repeating we will use the for loop before this part to loop the uh, loop through each developer so i will say for each dollar team as dollar developer or i can say dollar k arrow dollar developer and uh, here i will close the loop so this part the call md part will be looping for the first developer and it will take the information dollar developer and second time it will loop through and it will take the second developer information so if i want to see what is here i will see i will say print our dollar developer so for the first user i will get this information for the second developer i will get this information so if i do if i refresh it now so for the first developer i am getting this information for the second developer i am getting this information so that means this developer is the variable which can which uh, stores the developer's information for the first time it will store the first user's information and when it will loop second time it will store the second time the user's information so now inside this call md i will build some html page for example i will say image i want the image of the user i will say image i will give the class class of image responsive i will also give class of image thumbnail and you will see what it does in the thumbnail and i will also give the class of image circle to make it round shaped and then i will give the source source is coming in the form of image so i will say echo dollar developer image and here my image tag is over let's to go ahead now now after image i will give the name i will create the h3 tag and here i want to give the name so name will be this name so here i can say in the name i can say developer name and i want to show the designation the designation will come in the small tag in the small tag i will say designation designation is saved as this designation so this is my h3 tag after h3 tag i will give some description so i will create the p tag and i will copy this developer part here in the developer tag here is a description so i will copy the description and i will paste it here so let's see now how it looks so you will see both are coming but the placement is not correct so both are coming in the blue tag so let's delete from here and since this is the section wrong section we are in the wrong section we should create another section for our developers so i will create another section for the developers and here again i will say div class container and inside container i will paste it what i put it above and now if i refresh it so you will see two are coming so if i go on adding more developers it will automatically add one more developer here and then it will go down so we got the name we got the uh, designation we got the description now let's add let's add this tags so to add the tags i will say ul so this kind of uh, this kind of tag facebook twitter and this link you know there are a lot of uh, templates available in the internet so i got one template just here to follow that template and it will be it will be fine 
so it is something kind of list unstyled so this is a bootstrap kind of thing and i will add some more classes list inline list social icons and this is my ul tag and inside ul tag i will create different ally tag i will create four ally tag Two, three, four. So here I will give some class. And the class which I will give is tool tip social. Maybe it's not there here. Uh, let's give it. Maybe it's in the. Uh, we have to check if it is in the font font or some, or if it is in the bootstrap. We will check it. It's Facebook dash link, or it's not that it's custom, maybe. And here I was a h reference. Here I have to give the Facebook URL which I saved in the database. And here I have to I have to say data toggle. This is additional information. If you don't put it also, it's fine. And because this may, you know, people may use with some J uh, JavaScript to manipulate it. So we are putting it. Even if you don't put it, it is fine. Okay. So what is what is placement? After placement, we have to put title. So these are the additional data. If you don't put also, it's fine. But since if you go to the Facebook, if you go to the Google, they give uh, they give some template where they put this information just for the purpose of showing. But it's not 100% required to put all the details. And here I will say I class. We will put font or some class called as FA, FA, Facebook. This is the font or some class. If I put, it will automatically display the Facebook icon. FA2X. This is the size of that one. Let's check this one if it is coming correctly. So I'm getting the Facebook in both the places. Let's give the URL proper URL based on the what I have saved in the database. And it is saved here as FB is coming as a FB. So I will put it here as FB. Now I will copy this part, LA part, and I will paste it three times. One, two, three. And second time I will say LinkedIn, LN. And then I will say Twitter, and I will say Google Plus. And I have to change the icon for each one. So the second one will be LinkedIn FA LinkedIn Square FA linked in square. Third will be the Twitter Square FA. This all icons are there in the font awesome. So you don't have to worry about here. Google dash plus. Let's see if I'm getting correctly now. Okay, I'm getting all the correctly and links is also might be going correctly. Let's check it. Yeah, so it's going to carry its link. This is our LinkedIn profile. This is my LinkedIn profile. So it's taking dynamically from the database. Only thing we need to change now here is a LinkedIn. Here I have to say Twitter. Here I have to say Google Plus. And then this is fine. Okay, I'll now remove this part. I don't need this print up. Okay, so I have two information. So if I add more information in the admin, it will automatically add it here. And this way, 
we don't have to work for another website whenever we will bid another website we will put all the details from the admin and then we don't need to worry about this is first time we are working uh, hard to make it work but second time it will be easy we don't have to work on any of these pages just put the developer information here and all the information will be there on the page we don't have to work again and again remember one thing we have not completed this part we have to show the developers which are already in the database like we are showing it here in the same way we have to show it here if i click update record now all this information will go away because the information should come from here so i i should pre-populate all the information whenever user will update the developer so if i don't pre-populate and click this update record all the information will go away so first i have to pre-populate with all the information which i have in the database and tomorrow i need all of your this information your image name designation whatever you want to show as a description and your facebook linkedin twitter google profile so kate i don't need this no need your this image you send me some different image okay close up close up take a selfie yeah take a some selfie and put it there because once this will site will go live it will go in the google so google will pass it and whenever someone searches carry parik it they will show this religion.tk so they can go there and see your information so try to put good information also try to put uh, the good photo so that you should be happy with when google someone searches in the google your name will come yeah. okay so we will do this on monday we will try to complete this theme page theme page is done but in the admin we need to pre-populate it and what is remaining in our site let's go and see so if i go browse search is done following all this thing is done but when i create the views i need to validate this field so if someone don't put this verse and click the add new verse i should show some error message same thing with the create religion if i i have to put it in the template and if i put if someone puts this information it's not uh, if it's empty i should show some error message same thing with the login register new user we should give some validation to the uh, validation to the fields that is thing is remaining in our website and then we will fill the data with some mock data mock data means dummy data and we will see how it looks when we put the dummy data